Hello everybody and welcome back to Tom's computer channel. In this episode we have a new gaming console. In this case it's this PlayStation 2 FAT. So this PlayStation has some issues and it's very dirty from the inside. So let's take apart, clean, fix and then we test this and have a lot of fun. So let's start it. Before we start open this, we make a quick test so that I can show you what's wrong with it. So, power on. Switch the TV on. And start this. You see, it starts very well. And it's booting in the menu. There are no CD inside. Um, the PlayStation tries to booting from the DVD drive, but when I try to open, you see it ducks. Doesn't open. It ducks. So we uh, open this up and try to fix this, and then it should function very well. If we if the drive open and closes correctly. Then we use a um, game and try to play. So let's do this. So let's take a closer look and then we take it apart and try to fix. On the outside you see it's very dirty and here we have the two memory slots the two controller ports, two USB ports, and the drive slot. On the drive slot, the case part is missing, and the power, and the open button. On the back side, we have the expansion slot, the PSU, and digital um, out for sound and the multi iv out for the picture and the sound so let's open it up for this we use a pick uh, we lift these openings there are screws under it and then we take the screws out and open the case. It's very, very dirty. This needs 
definitely a good clean. Ooh, there's a disc inside. Then it stucks. Get this out. Wow. What dusty and dirty. Oh. Flip this over. Ah, then we can lose this. So it's there. There is a this case is with this ribbon cable mounted. So, carefully, carefully, carefully. So, it's very dusty too. you have to clean it. definitely I blow this later out with compressed air there is another cable gets underneath this plastic part here this plastic part oh. on the side there is a little sticker oh. Let's see why this is stuck. So, 
Uh, this out, this out. There's another. Uh, there's an, another ribbon cable. So very very dirty. Here. Put this on the side, and now we can look. Secured with the screw. Oh. Then we can take this out. Oopla. I think we clean this up. Then we lubricate the parts inside and then we try. Clean up a little bit. The laser. Oh, and now we take a little bit of lubricant. And lubricate this. I use silicon grease. I used this in many other drives before, mostly in floppy disks.
So now it's time for cleaning the plastic part and then I'll be back to reassemble this. The PlayStation is now clean. We made a little service to the DVD drive. There was no obvious damages on the DVD drive. So the next thing we have to do is uh, to reassemble the PlayStation and then test if the drive is working. I don't see any reasons why not. So let's find it out. First step to reassembling is to lubricant this rail and this slider here. Do this way, must disassemble this. For this we use silicon grease and a cotton swab. And the next step is to reassemble the tray. This this white pin moves in here. So we make some grease on this pin. Then we move this out there.
So the next step is to reassemble the motherboard. Now we can get this in the lower case. Now before we do this, we put the last cable in. Now we put this in the lower case and make a short test if the drive smooths. Yeah, the drive is moving. Now we can reassemble the rest of this. So, one foot was missing, now we have this reassembled, let's take a look if the drive is working. 
Oh, great moment. And it's working! Let's plug this thing on a TV and make a test. The final test. So, now it's time for the final test. It's all put together. And so we start. Oh, no power. Nah. Wrong button. The wrong button. Let's happen from time to time. So now we're here. I don't know if you can see this. There is a red light. Then we press start. The console is working. So we come in the menu. If you see, the buttons are working. No data. System config. Now we are in the system config configuration, and you see it's working. Now we test if this thing can play games. So, as you have seen before, the tray from the optical drive is opening. We put in, and it's not working. Damn! Press reset. Starts up. Ah, it's not, it's not working. Ah, damn it. I end up this video here. The one issue I found at the beginning is fixed. The uh, CD tray open and close normally. At the final test came out, there's another issue. Um, this issue is the laser unit, I think. I don't have a laser in stock. So this is material for a um, part two video, maybe. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button. That helped the channel to grow up. And thanks for watching this video. And I see you in the next one.